Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alana and today is a very exciting video because today I will be unboxing, testing out and reviewing the Lux Air Pro 2. Because guys, ever since I have been making videos on the Dyson Air app, I have really wanted to find a cheaper alternative because I do realize that the Dyson Air app is such an expensive product. Whereas the Lux Air Pro 2 that I will be trying out today is $299, which is amazing compared to the price of the Dyson Air app. But whether or not it compares in terms of what it actually does to the Dyson Air app, I'm really not sure. We are gonna find that out in this video. Okay, so guys, I have literally, this is still in the brown box that it arrived in. I have not unboxed it. So, ooh, oh wow. Okay, so here we go. I've just opened it up and we've got the box here. I'm just gonna take this out and straight away, the color of that, on the box, I'm into, I like in this color. The Lux Air Pro 2. Doesn't actually say two in the box, but as far as I'm aware, that's what it's called. First of all, really like the packaging, really sleek. I like that a lot. So inside, it's just like a little leather case, and that is very slimline. A lot smaller and weighs a lot less than what the Dyson Air app weighs. And here we go. First impressions, I absolutely love this box. I just love the color of it. It's very sleek and it fits in really nicely with my bedroom actually. Um, and I like this little like old hardware. So yeah. Woo! <sighs> my horse. Oh my goodness, it's like the Zuvia hair dryer all over again whenever I was like showing it to you guys and it just fell out of the box. It's just, it was about to fall into my light and if that sent my light flying, that was a very expensive light that would have broke. Let's, let's pretend this didn't happen, right? Start over, okay. Lux Air Pro 2 in this glorious box that is completely unhinged. You know what, let's, let's just get it open because I just need to move past what just happened there. Open it up, you've got, I'm assuming this is a little styling mat. Again, loving the colorway in this, loving the colorway. Really, really into this. And here we go, guys. Right, I'm gonna be really careful so that this doesn't fall out. Here we go, it looks very sleek inside. I like how it is packaged. So first of all, we're gonna take out the barrels. And here we go, so you have one for each side of your hair, left and the right side. And here we have a little smoothing brush. I have the dryer attachment. Here we go, ooh, nice, that's kind of like a metallic white. I'm really, really feeling the colors of this. It's really, really nice. And then we have the round brush attachment, which we all know is one of my favorites. What is this? Oh, we have a styling glove, that's quite good. You don't get a styling glove with the Dyson Air just saying. Although to be honest, I never ever ever use styling gloves. Um, but if you are a styling glove kind of gal, then you get one. And last but certainly not least, is the device itself in all of its glory. And that, oh wow, that color, I absolutely, I love it. Because it just kind of like fits in nicely with my room and I feel like this color is very in right now. This is gonna look very aesthetically pleasing sitting on your dressing table. And of course we have the gorgeous box, which is now empty. Just pop this in here along with just all of the attachments whenever I'm packing it away. Oh, so I'm excited. What should we do to my hair? Should we curly blow dry? Should we straighten? Should we curl? We should curl, shouldn't we? I know you guys are all gonna wanna see the curling barrels in action. First of all, we are gonna use the hair dryer attachment. How you actually attach these is you pop it in and then you just slide it over to, I mean, it's my right, maybe that's your left. And you just press this button to release. My roots are still wet and that is the one thing that we need to be dry when using this. Things first, I was supposed to add some treatment to my hair. Are you using any device in your hair, you, the pre styling products are honestly so important. It's gonna make or break how your hair styles. I love the Philip Kingsley range. Um, I'll make sure that I link all the products in the description that I'm using. Leave in conditioner, give it a little bit of a brush. Now we are gonna give this a whirl. So I haven't looked in the instructions, but I feel like things like this are pretty self-explanatory. So we have the on button, we have a little snowflake here, which I'm assuming is the cold shot. Then we have a little, what's that? 
Then we have a little windmill, which I'm assuming is the speed. And then we have a little button with a thermostat on, which I'm assuming is the heat button. So we are gonna press the on button. Oh, oh and it comes out this side. Right, so, so this is actually on the lowest. I'm gonna put that up to the highest heat. Just dry my hair. is my hair pretty much 80% dry which is about how dry you want it and um, before we start styling it with the other attachments First impressions I love how light it is because my arm doesn't get very sore because sometimes it takes a very long time for me to dry my hair and if I have a heavy device it can be a little bit infuriating it's gonna section my hair remove the hair dryer attachment and you again have to twist that to take it off whilst you are pushing the little down lever. On the smoothing brush attachment, and I'm gonna smooth out my hair a little bit because it is dry on its own. It's got quite curly. I'm gonna add some heat defense. I actually considered getting, trying another one because I've been using this for like 16 years. I mean, I have tried different ones over the years, always going back to that, and I can't even remember what any other ones were like. So it's the smell, I absolutely love the smell. I am gonna put this on high heat, high speed, and I'm gonna try and smooth my hair out, and I'm actually intrigued to see how well this smooths my hair, because this ain't easy hair to smooth. Now, that was literally just a really, really quick smooth I wanted to give it to get a little bit of the frizz and a little bit of the curl out. It actually hasn't done a bad job, but I'd be very intrigued to see how well this straightened my entire hair. I'd love to see how straight I can actually get it. But if you want to see that, let me know in the comment section because I'm not going to do that in this video, otherwise this video would last forever. Um, so let me know if you would like to see a video on that because today we are curling We are using the curling barrels, but it was quite fun just to quickly test that out. I think to say I mean it done the job that I wanted doing For this particular look which was just a really quick little smooth I need the curling barrel that's pointing away from my face Which is this one because I want the curls going away from my face this strand of hair is actually quite dry and I need it a little bit damp so at this point you can spray some water on it but rather than spraying water I'm actually going to sp spray some leave-in conditioner because I'm like why would I spray water whenever I can whenever I can spray something that's going to hydrate and moisturize my hair um, and dampen it so it's kind of like a two-in-one. Again high heat high speed and then we're going to set with a cold shot. Oh that passes on very quickly. I'm impressed. No, it's just the cold up. Yeah, here we go. Right. I'm gonna hold on high heat for about 20, 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna press down on the cold shot and hold for about 20 seconds. Nice and cold, which is good. Oh wow! Look. Oh. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that is one heck of a curl. Amazing. Ah, uh, <laughs> amazing. Okay, right. Let's have another go. Don't want to take too big of a strand of hair, by the way. Right. Sorry. Let's turn it back on. Here we go. And then you just want to catch it at the end. It catches on very easily and very quickly. Consider my hair is actually quite dry as well. I'm very impressed by that. Very impressed. Another amazing curl. That is, those are very tight curls. Very tight curls. Very impressed with that. Guys, amazing. First impressions, those are one fabulous looking ringlets. So we're going to do this side and then I'm going to quickly run through my whole hair and I'm going to show you the finished product. 
and see how well the curls turned out. And then I am going to talk you through my thoughts on this and how it compares to the Dyson era. We need to, we need to change the curling barrel. Okay, so guys, this is one thing, and like I said, I'm gonna be completely honest in this review. So I'm assuming you're meant to use this little like nozzle at the top to pull it off but it's quite stiff and maybe that's because it's just new that it's quite stiff. Maybe it will loosen up over time, but right now it's quite stiff. So getting that off by just turning this is quite difficult. You actually have to put your entire hand around this barrel to twist it and pull it off. Luckily, this isn't too hot right now. You've done like three pieces of hair. I imagine the further I get up my hair, the hotter this is gonna be and I'm not really gonna wanna put my hand around it, but it's why you get the glove. That makes sense now. Wear the glove, guys. <laughs> Wear the glove. Maybe I will put on the glove as I get up my hair. I'll, I'll see how I go. Okay. All right, so we are putting the bar over for my right side of the hair. High heat, high speed. Let's go. So guys, I actually realized I haven't explained this. I'm so used to making videos about the Dyson that I just assume that everyone knows this, but that is very silly of me. Um, the reason why I'm using the cold shot at the end, that's basically to set the curl and that makes it last longer. Um, so yeah, just, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> that is the bottom section all curled. We are finished curling. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, that is absolutely fabulous. So happy with how those curls have turned out. My hair looks voluminous, it looks soft, it looks shiny. I'm a happy bunny. So guys, now that the hair is complete, let's have a little chat about the Lux Air Pro 2 and discuss how it compares to the Dyson Air app. First thing I actually want to talk about is the box. I absolutely love the color on it. I love the little branding at the front and it's actually super light. The one thing I will say about the Dyson Air app box that it comes in, it's really, really heavy and it's a lot bigger than this. This is something that I would actually bring away with me, whereas the Dyson Air app, I always pack up in a bag because the box is so heavy and big and chunky. Actually, it comes with a little styling mat, which again, the color of it, it just is gonna look so non-offensive on your dressing table, which I absolutely love. Let's have a little chat about the attachments. So obviously you have the hair dryer attachment. I've done a good job at drying my hair fairly quickly. Smoothing brush, I only use that a little bit to smooth out some of the frizz and the curl on my hair. I would be very intrigued to see how well it can poker straight my hair. Obviously, I wasn't doing that for this video because if I did a poker straight and then tried to curl, my hair just wouldn't curl as well. But it did a pretty decent job at smoothing it out um, the little bit that I wanted it smoothed out. But I don't really feel like that's a true test to how well this works. So if you would like to see a video on this, please comment below and I can make a little video reviewing this little attachment in particular because this video was obviously heavily focused around the curling barrels. So we're gonna discuss those in a little minute. Obviously we have the round brush attachment, which we did not use in this video because there wasn't really a purpose for it in this video. You guys know I love a bouncy blow dry, so I'd love to create a bouncy blow dry with this and see how well it bouncy blow dries my hair. Again, if you would like to see a little video on this, please comment below and let me know. Last but not least, we have the curling barrels. So all in all, you get all of the same attachments as the Dyson Air app, but only the Dyson Air app original. The curling barrels is the attachment that I've obviously primarily used in this tutorial. And I wanted to focus on the curling barrels because I feel like that is the one attachment that everyone wants to buy these sort of products for. That is why everyone's interested in the Dyson Air app and the Lux Air Pro 2 because they want to be able to curl their hair with the curling barrels. Obviously you can also turn this upside down the same as you can with the Dyson Air app and probably wave your hair. I'm actually excited to try that out as well. In terms of how well this curls your hair, like I mean, I feel like my hair speaks for itself. It curled my hair so well. And I will say that in comparison to the Dyson Air app, I feel like my hair latched on 
to these barrels so much easier than it does with the Dyson Era. This, I, I mean, it just, it's like a magnet to your hair. It like does it so quickly, so easily, which I really, really like. In terms of the device itself, you obviously have all the same functions that you have on the Dyson Era. Last thing that I wanna touch on, indirectly comparing it to the Dyson Era. The attachments and the device, they're very, very light. But with that, I feel like they feel a little bit plasticky. So it's kind of like a pro and a con. The pro to the material that it's kind of made of means that it's light. So me curling my whole hair, my arm did not get sore at all. Whereas whenever I'm curling my hair with the Dyson Era, my arm gets sore. So I always have to take a break. I did not have to take a break with this because it's so light. But with that, it's obviously just made from cheaper material, which of course is gonna be made from cheaper material because it's a lot cheaper than the Dyson Era. But I will say that whenever I'm removing these attachments, I just feel like they could be easily broke if you're rough. So you'd have to be quite delicate but also firm because it is quite stiff with releasing and attaching these attachments but all in all it is styled my hair pretty much exactly the same as my Dyson Air app does and so I feel like that just kind of speaks volumes and so here's kind of my final conclusion if you do not own a Dyson Air app and if you are very reluctant to spend the money on a Dyson Era, and if you cannot afford to spend the amount of money on a Dyson Era, then absolutely the Lux Air Pro 2, I feel like is a very, very solid option. Also, I feel like if you're a mother watching this, a grandmother watching this, if you're an auntie, uncle, whoever you are watching this, and you know that you have a teenager that is wanting a Dyson Air app for Christmas, and you're like, absolutely, I am not spending that amount of money, then again, this is a really, really solid alternative that is a fraction of the price. I think this is $299. No idea how much that equates to in pounds. I'll try and find out and pop it up on the screen, a little estimate of how much that is in Great British Pounds, as I know I have a lot of British followers out there. And I am gonna be linking the Lux Air Pro 2 in the description if you wanna go check it out. I also do have a discount code if you would like to purchase this. That will also be in the description and I'll try and pop it up on the screen as well. Let me know if you have any questions about the Lux Air Pro 2. If there's anything that I didn't discuss that you would have liked me to discuss in this video, drop me a comment and I will absolutely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. I am on Instagram and I post a lot of little hair tutorials over on Instagram. So I'm gonna pop that up here and give me a follow. I'm actually also just new on TikTok. Kind of, I'm still trying to get to grips with that. I feel like sometimes a little bit old for TikTok, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So um, go give me a little follow over there as well if you want. So hit subscribe. I do weekly videos. Much watching. I love you all. I do, I do. Um, and I will see you next time.